anticipation is mounting here as both sides get set for this matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the Atlanta Falcons here at the Georgia Dome. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Simpson. Do we have a little upset special coming your way today? One team's unbeaten. Well, I know the undefeated team hopes not, but I'll tell you, Jim, the other team, they're excited about getting out there and getting the chance to put that first blemish on the record. You're always looking for an edge, and when you go against an undefeated team, that's a big edge for your football team. So let's head down to the field now. As it looks like kickoff is moments away. Better judgment says take an eight. Wilson's coming out now for his first series. He's coming off a hit or miss game from a week ago. His quarterback rating on that occasion hovered right around 70. On first down. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Gains 13. Marshawn Lynch is one of the more physical running backs in the NFL, but it's not always just those tough yards. He shows he still has the speed to get some big yards. Now first and 10. They're going to get him this time. Oh, there's nothing worse early in the football game to get sacked by the defense if you're a quarterback. Now you sit there and go, is this going to happen all day long? Does it change the process how you play? Do you get rid of the football quicker? A lot of things go through a quarterback's mind. Here's a look at the Seahawks offensive lineup. They've done a great job of converting on third down this season. Miller's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Third and 17. Throws to the right. Throws a strike. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. When you have a quarterback that can throw the football like this guy, even though it's third and 10 plus yards, he makes a nice throw for the first down. First down here after the completion. Wilson's got the football after the play fake. Here's how the Falcons defense. There they are, in the top three when it comes to taking down the quarterback. Harper's in the slot. Second and 10. Looking down the field. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Third and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. Touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Davis is heading out now for his first series. The Seahawks come out in the nickel. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun. Steps out of bounds. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. And Davis is back in shotgun formation, looking to the right side and throwing. Falcons get a first down. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those Let's first downs. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. A tackle behind the line. Here's our look at the Falcons' offense. They have been a third down juggernaut this year, converting at an unusually high rate. And the starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's, where you always get better ingredients, better pizza. And now
Now here's the Seahawks defense. They never got to the quarterback once last week. Line up now on third down. They were very good at converting these situations a week ago. He's going deep. But it's incomplete. Well, that's just an awful job by the offensive line. They break down almost immediately, but a nice job by the quarterback, able to get outside the pocket and keep the play alive. Davis got it in the gun, trying to make something happen. And he was wide open. That's a good play that time by the offensive coordinator. Fourth down try. He makes the right call, and they pick up the first down. Long gain sets them up here on this play. Here's the draw. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Davis standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Ball was caught. Well, when you got four defensive backs playing deep, you are going to have a lot of wide open space underneath. We saw at that time and another easy completion for the quarterback and receiver. First and goal. Looking for an open receiver on the right for about five. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets the completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you got to really drive the football in there. This will be second down. They'll run it. In zone bound. And he's got the touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting them ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. First down coming up. Handoff to the back. In on the stop. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. Tate's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second down and nine. Screen pass. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shot. It's incomplete. Miller's playing out of position in the backfield here. It's third and nine. Challenging the defenders to the right side. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. Well, we see it more and more. Football's thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. After that defensive timeout, we're ready for action. John Ryan will be called on to send this one down the field. He's going to challenge the punt coverage. That's a tackle right near the 48. It's first down as they head to the line. Davis is going to take the snap from the shotgun. Down the field. And then there's a great catch. You just can't expect your defensive backs to cover that one. Uh, it's good coverage initially, but the quarterback had all day long, and sooner or later, these great wide receivers are going to get open. 
they break through, tackle them behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. After being stopped at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw for a gain of three. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes completing a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. The defense comes out in the nickel. And complete. They pounce on him there. The Seahawks signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. Fourth and goal. Scrambling out of the pocket. And they'll turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Wilson still has it after some nifty play action. Second down here. That's a timeout by the D. Offense lines up here. Second and five. They set up the eye formation. It goes to the tailback. The Falcons call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. After that run, third and eight for the offense. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. They run it on third down, and they come up short of a first, and they'll call on the punter. That's the end of the first half, and we'll be back in a moment with the first half analysis. Danielle Bellini is there with the latest from the sidelines. I caught up with Coach Smith during halftime. Jim, with the lead here at the half, he was feeling good about how things had gone to this point. He said, I think we're doing a good job repeating what we did in practice. We've come out and look confident in what we're doing, and it shows on the scoreboard. Now they've just got to do it for another half, guys. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Nickel formation for the defense here. First and 10. Throws to the right. Catch is made. And gets the first down. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. They've got a first down now after that catch. Nice piece of running by Steven Jackson. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. After running it, it's Flex second roll. down. Flex roll. They'll go shotgun here. Going to take off with it. And he hauls it in. <laughs> Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. Third and 15, and it's away from the pressure. Brings it into his body. A tackle that had to be made. And that'll set up fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The Falcons call timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. 
and Davis is going to take it from the gun, eyeing that left side. This is going to set up a change of possession. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. Intercepted. They bring him to the turf. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. First down here. Running away from the pressure. Breaks free. Gains 15. Jim, the offensive coordinator's done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Now, the next snap from inside the red zone, where a week ago they starred as a team. And here's a look at their red zone percentage to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. The quarterback will hand it off and picks up the first down. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. So first and goal to go. Throwing now to his left. And that's going to be three yards. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing touchdown. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver. But the receiver, big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. The point after is good. Falcons defense certainly contributing to the cause here today. And that interception was good enough to lead the offense out for a short field and a score. They'll take it at the 20. up in the pistol formation. First down and 10. Wilson's turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Coming up, second down. Waits for an opening to unfold. You're getting sacked. The offensive coordinator's just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback, so either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. Offense lines up here. Third and 16. This is a screen play all the way. Was made, and that's a three and out series for the offense. Harper's lined up in the slot. The final quarter begins with this snap. Ball is out, and it's a takeaway. Tackles made. Got to protect the football on the offensive side. When you don't protect it the way these defensive players can run, you're going to get in trouble, and that time it results in a fumble. Let's roll. Let's roll. Davis back in shotgun formation. He's scrambling now. Makes the grab, and that's a gain of 10. 
if I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course, it'll be a touchdown. Play action fake. Looking for an open touchdown. Atlanta. Tight ends are more valuable when you get close to the goal line because they can use their body and push off and get open that way to score touchdowns. Nice job that time for the tight end. The Falcons lined up now for the point after. Count it. The Falcons kickoff team is on the field and the offense is on the sideline celebrating a score that was all set up thanks to a very tenacious defense that recovered the fumble. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. Harper's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and 10. And it's knocked down. Incomplete. Oh, nice job. Back cornerback. He was watching the quarterback. He's all over the receiver. So it was easy for him to knock the throw down. The throw to the left, and it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. So now a third and ten, trying to work that left side. Throw to the incomplete. The punter awaits the snap. Two tight ends on the field here. First and ten, play action fake, looking to throw. Tony Gonzalez with the hall. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Two minutes, two minutes Let's remaining in the game. Let's 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 that leads us to second down. Play fake here, heaving it down the field. Scores the touchdown. It's a big part of every offense now in the NFL. We see it here. Look at the receiver. Pins the defender inside. Beautiful throw to the outside. Fade for a touchdown. Falcons lined up now for the point after. And the point after is good. The Seahawks are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The score's 28 to 0. He'll have to accept the touchback.
Harvins, a receiver in the slot. First and 10. Lynch trying to plow ahead. Tate's now moved into the backfield from his usual wideout spot. He'll throw it over the middle. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. That reception gave them the first down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. And no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. Harper's in the slot. And second and ten. Ball is out. They recover their own fumble. The Seahawks are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Under two minutes to go in the half, and that means we've got a booth review. Inside the last two minutes, this one had to be instigated by the folks upstairs. They challenged the call on the field, and in fact, it was the proper thing to do. The play is overturned. Yeah, good job by the officials upstairs seeing it, knowing there was a mistake on the field. That's what I love about the NFL. They're not afraid to admit, to say they made mistakes and turn them around. Hunters all set here. Looking to make a difference. Gets it out to the 22. Two tight ends. Takes the knee. Jackson's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Second and 12 gives it to Steven Jackson. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Third down. Jackson's taking the handoff. He's got some daylight. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, they're teaching all these guys in the NFL, don't hit high. And we might be seeing more of this, lower body injuries, because the, the defensive players, they're learning. Hit them lower. Won't get any flags thrown that way. Jackson lined up in the backfield. Play action. Escaping the pressure. Right down Broadway. The Falcons decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. Offense ready to play after calling a timeout. Matt Bryant lining up for the field goal. 